large language models sometimes or maybe not sometimes struggle to use long uh, long input context and uh, maybe like few possible ways to to improve understanding of models uh, so uh, we have already seen a lot of recent large language, language models that have the ability to take long context, but uh, it's still unknown how, how well they can handle such context. So, uh, recent recent advantage recent advances in hardware and algorithms have driven a rapid increase in uh, language models maximum context. So, for example, GPT three point five turbo context window increased from 4k tokens to 16k tokens and cloud context window expanded from 8k to uh, 100k tokens but uh, the main question is uh, do we need such big contexts and can the models use them efficiently uh, so the authors experimented with a variety variety of state-of-the-art models like MT, MTP 30B Instruct, Long Chat, GPT 3.5 Turbo and Cloud in the tasks of accessing and using information within an input context. Uh, firstly, the experiments with multi-document question answering were conducted. It's a simple task where we're just asking uh, a model to give an answer uh, on a specific question. So. The second task to study was a synthetic key value retrieval task where we simply asked the model to return a value associated with a specific key. Uh, in these experiments, authors make, uh, made control changes to the input context size and position of the relevant information to better study this problem. Uh, also, in the slide, you can see a small spoiler. The U shaped performance was observed as we changed the position of relevant information. Uh, the model performance is highest when, uh, when relevant information occurs at the very, be very beginning or end of its context. So, uh, also in the slide, the open book settings means that uh, we provide documents for a model in our prompt to answer, and the closed book settings means we are not given any document to the model. So as you can see, uh, when the relevant document, document is located in the middle of our context, the accuracy is even worse than uh, when we are not providing any document to a model. So it's, it's definitely worse to investigate this problem more. Also to better understand why language models struggle to access information in the middle of their context, uh, the authors conducted investigations on the uh, role of the model architecture, query effect, effect of query aware contextualization, and uh, effect of uh, instruction fine tuning. So, I think let's go into the into the details. Uh, the first task is uh, multi document QA, as I mentioned before, which is all about finding relevant information in the input context and using it. Uh, using it to answer this question. In the slide, you can see the example input context uh, for this task. As you can see here is uh, our documents. The both documents is a document which contains answer. And here we can see the answer which we, uh, for which we want to get the answer. Uh, tested models are divided into two categories. It's open source models and Maybe closed source models and model input inputs are a question to answer and key documents where exactly one document contains the answer. Uh, so to modulate the input context length, uh, the authors change the number of the documents that don't contain the answer. This is a left picture, as you can see, we are at two more documents so to change the uh, size of our input context. And to modulate the position of relevant information, authors simply adjust the position of relevant of document with the, with the answer. If this is the right picture. Um, so as for results, uh, the authors experimented with input context containing 10, 20, and 30 documents. And uh, the figure in the slide presents multi-document question answering performance. Uh, so here is here are a few observations from this plot. 
the first the first observation is that uh, model performance is highest when relevant information is located at the beginning of its context. So performance is degraded when the model is forced to use the information within the uh, middle of its input context, which means that uh, language models can't efficiently reason over entire context window. Uh, the second observation from this chart is that model performance decreases as the input context uh, grow longer, indicating that models uh, actually struggle to retrieve and use relevant information from, from long input context. And the third observation is that extended context models are not necessarily better at using input context. Performance between them are, is nearly identical. Uh, here is a, here is an additional plot for the second observation where you can see how performance uh, changes depending on input context length. So you can, as you can see, as we providing more documents to our uh, to our model, the performance is getting worse. Uh, so the second uh, task was uh, key value retrieval. We already saw that language models struggle to retrieve and use information from the middle of their context, but uh, how well can they perform simple retrieval tasks from input context? In this task, the inputs, uh, as you can see in the slide, are string serialized JSON objects with key value pairs, where, exact, where each of the key keys and values are unique. And the goal of this task is simple. We just ask a model to return uh, the value associated with the specific key. Uh, the tested models are the same, and as previously, also modulated the input context length and the position of relevant key value pair with the, within the input context. Uh, so the authors experimented with uh, input context containing different number of key value pairs. And the figure, figure in the slide represents the final key value irretrievable uh, performance. Uh, even though the key value retrieval is, uh, as I said, a pretty simple and straightforward task, not all the models achieve high performance. Uh, the results for this task have similar trends to the results in the multi document QA. And we see the U shape, U -shape performance curve again, even, even though the overall performance is better. Uh, model performance, again, is lowest when they must access key value pairs in the middle of the input context. Furthermore, model performance in this setting generally also decreases in uh, longer input context. Uh, also, it's uh, important to mention that a long chat model in the 140 key value pairs, it's the second figure, is a notable outlier when the relevant information uh, located at the start of the context, uh, the, this model uh, tends to generate tends to generate code to retrieve the key rather than outputting the value itself. Um, so, let's talk about maybe possible reasons or even ways to improve uh, large language models and to use the entire context. Uh, the first maybe possible reason is uh, is the effect of the model architecture. Uh, the open source models which were evaluated in this paper, it's M M MPT, 30B, Instruct, and Long Chat, uh, are the quadra only models, which means that at each time step, they may only attend to prior tokens. Uh, so the authors decided to use uh, Flan T5XXL and Flan UL2, which are encoder decoder models, to investigate this effect. The authors assumed that encoder decoder models may make better use of the uh, context window because the bidirectional encoder allows processing each document in the context of future documents, so which potentially can uh, help us to enhance the performance. And as you can see from the results, uh, encoder decoder models are, are, are pretty, rub pretty, ru pretty robust to changes in the position of relevant information within the, the input context. Uh, 
but it's only when evaluated on sequences that are shorter than 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 their uh, their um, maximum training times maximum length. I don't know how to say it. Uh, however, when these models are evaluated on longer sequences, which the models uh, seen at the train stage, uh, they again show the U-shaped performance curve. Uh, so the second reason is uh, effect of query aware contextualization. And uh, in the all previous experiments, the query, it's maybe it's our instruction, our question, uh, was placed after the data to process, and as a result, the coder only models can't attend to query tokens when con con contextualizing documents or key value pairs, uh, since the query only appears in the end of our input. Uh, on the other hand, encoder decoder models use, a, as I said, a bi directional encoder to contextualize documents and seem to be more robust uh, to changes in the position of relevant information in the input context. So uh, the question is, can we use this intuition to improve the performance of the coder only models by placing the query before and after the data uh, and enabling in such way query via contextualizations. Uh, so, so as for results, authors found that uh, this technique dramatically improves performance for key value retrieval tasks. Uh, so for example, GPT 3.5 Turbo achieves perfect performance when evaluated with 300 key value pairs. But unfortunately, authors didn't provide uh, plot for this experiment, so we should, so we should trust them <laughs> as is. Uh, in contrast, uh, query aware contextualization minimally affects performance trends in multi-document QA, in particular uh, in it improves the performance when the relevant information is located at the very beginning of the context, but slightly decreases performance in other settings. And the second uh, effect to study is effect of instruction tuning, and all the evaluated models are instruction tuned, and in the instruction tuning data, the task specifications and instruction are often placed at the at the beginning of the context, which might lead language models to place more weight on the on the start of the input context. Uh, so to better understand this fact, the authors compared uh, the multi-document QA performance of MPT-30B instruct model versus uh, its base model. And as you can see from the slide, uh, the both, both of the models have a U-shaped performance curve uh, where performance is highest when the relevant information occurs at the very beginning or very end of the context. So even 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 though the absolute performance of instruct model is higher than the base model, the overall accuracy trends are, are quite similar. Um, and so here is the answer to the for the question: Why do language models struggle to use the input context? Uh, as for effect of model architecture, uh, it's true that encoder-decoder models are robust to changes in the position of relevant information, uh, but when evaluated on sequences uh, within their uh, training, time, training time sequence length, but uh, encoder-decoder models show a U-shaped performance curve again when evaluated on longer sequences. As for the query aware contextualization, uh, placing the query before and after the data uh, enables models to perform synthetic key value retrieval tasks perfectly, but, uh, mi but minimally changes were observed uh, in multi document QA. And as for effect of instruction tuning, even base language models sh show a U shaped performance curve as we change the position of relevant information in the context. And I think that's all. So thank you for your attention. Maybe any questions?